It'll probably be a comment in the comment section. But why would you want to print? Why would you want to print? Why would you want to do that? I'm not sure if you really want to do that. <laughs> Bruh, listen, it's okay. Just keep it clean and dressed and you'll be fine. Okay? Okay. Okay? Yeah. In this video, I'm giving you the secret sauce. This plugin replicates what your favorite artists are recording through, like... Juice World recorded through it, Travis records through it, Drake, Future, Thug, Gunna. So if you want pro vocals to that level, first we gotta start with this one plugin. DJ Khaled uses like the BAE version, Travis uses the Neve, Lil Baby uses the Neve. A lot of people use the Neve in the two tech combo. I did a video showing the industry standard, but a lot of people overlook this plugin. You can get it, it's a Spark plugin. It's very affordable. Right here, I got it boosted so you can hear me talk, right? If I turn this off, you will not hear me, right? Watch this. If I bypass this, you will not hear me at all because that's controlling all of my signal right now. So, yeah, like you hear, you see, I'm not getting no type of level whatsoever on that, like no type of level, nothing, nothing. I turn it on, I get level, right? I go here, you see the signal right there, it's very low, right here, it's a little louder. 30, that's cool. 35, that's fine. 40, okay. But if I were really want to drive it in, we can do 45, right? So you see how that just jumps up. When I perform, I'm going to hear myself loud. But my wave file, my audio file is not going to be as loud. If I move it down here, so. So if I put it on my record track, not my print. Because if I put it on my print, it'll print. So watch this. So we we'll turn on the reverb. We we'll turn on some delay. Let's bring up the knee so you can see the knee. Say none of funny business. Uh, let's bring it down to 40. I want it on 40. And let me show you what my Apollo Twins on. Like here, you hear. So, so like, like when I turn it up, my signal changes. So that right there, that's my level on my twin. Why that's on 40. All right. So now that we got that out the way. Uh, I was gonna record. Like no funny business. It's nothing there. All right. Yeah 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 Die loud. Don't you fall in love with me? 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 All right. So you're probably thinking like. There's nothing there. there. Alright, so watch this. I bring this down. I bring this down. See how I gotta boost that up to get the signal up there? It's crazy. So watch this. So if we put it on zero, play. Don't hear, right? Down here, watch this. Bring down the knee. Watch this. Matter of fact, matter of fact, before I bring down the knee, I want to show you something. I'm gonna show you all the headroom I got on that vocal. So it'll be people like, "Yo, you're clipping. It's so loud." Yeah. Like, watch this, bro. Watch this, man. We're gonna analyze that. You see that? <laughs> that vocal low as shit. Negative 32 dBs. I'm recording low as shit. Like, I have so much room to turn this shit up. But this wouldn't be what I would aim for. I'm only doing this for the video to prove a point, right? So, I would want to hit around, like, negative 18, right? Negative 18. Like, so, now, if I do this right here, right? So, it's low as fuck, right? So, if we bring it up. So, I watch this shit. Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Baby, I'm a dog. Don't you fight in love with me. Don't you fight in love with me, girl. Because the key to getting the vocals that y'all want is giving yourself headroom. Being able to be able to compress and do everything you want to do and get a good performance and stuff. So, like, even if I, like, put this on zero, right? And I put the knee on, watch what it's going to do. Yeah, 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 when it goes to mixing, guess what I could do? I could sit here and slide the fader down. I could change the output here. I can really get my levels going on. But my main goal is to record a good vocal recording where I'm not clipping my raw audio file, all right? A lot of people think you're clipping just because this fader over here, this meter is hitting zero. You're not really clipping if it's hitting that, right? That's why, like, if you're mixing with your eyes, trying to analyze everything with your eyes you're gonna be wrong <laughs> a lot of the time right and and that's just something you gotta understand see me personally i like to print through the so you can tell the difference so this would be the one where i recorded through the knee right and this take right here is gonna be the one i print through uh, yeah yeah baby i'm a dog yeah you don't wanna fight like me no Follow me, no. Follow me, no. You don't know, wanna follow me, let me. Follow me, let me. Follow me, let me. Follow me, let me. You don't wanna follow, baby. You don't wanna follow. It's all like, okay. Now we bring that down. We ain't got a tune, cause we print it. So here we go. I should play. It. Yeah, simple. Uh, yeah, yeah, baby, I'm a dog. Yeah, you don't wanna follow me, no. Follow me, no. Follow me, no. Go back over. You don't wanna follow me, let me. Follow me, let me. Follow me, let me. Follow me, let me. You don't wanna follow, baby. You don't wanna follow. So that right there, people are like, you're clipping because the peak is zero. I mean, I recorded through analog. So like I'm recording through, like I'm recording through analog. So it's going to be like that. It's going to look like that. But guess what we can always do? We have something that's a good performance. And guess what we can do? We can gain stage. Gain stage is, is turning it down. Like we got to turn it down anyway. And it's not distorted at all. Because the RMS is negative 16.4. So we still have something good to work with. Yeah, yeah, baby, I'm a dog. Yeah. You don't want to fight like me, no. So this is what printing looks like, right? So when I print it, we got this. When I just monitored, we got this. And either way it go, we still got a good quality vocal to work with. Look, and the second thing that you need to understand about the Need 1073 is that it has an EQ on it, all right? The EQ is very important, especially for the people that like to print and record, like they're recording through analog, you're like in the studio, you can adjust it to record all kind of different things, right? We can do telephone ad libs, we can add air, we can subtract, we can add mid, we can reduce, like we can do whatever we want to do. If I want to sit here and turn on the EQ, guess what I do? I click this and now the EQ is active. If I want to do a low cut, right? See what happens? I could do a low cut, right? So if I want to record in telephone vocals or if I'm recording somebody and their vocals are too muddy or like their voice is too deep and I want to like knock a lot of that low end off before it goes into Pro Tools as if I was recording through analog, I can adjust that, right? Or I could sit here and subtract this out or if I needed to add to it, right? We could add to it, right? And then we got these other buttons on the outside where we can sit here and just do different things, right? Like, we can sit here and really shape a vocal how we need to shape a vocal. So, so if we want to boost mids, we can really boost mids. If we need to reduce from mids, we can. And we got different frequencies right here on the outside. You click those and you can do the frequencies and this controls that frequency that you're messing with. Understand me, like, you got a zero here. 
you got zero there then you can turn it off over here and then all this is gonna do is nothing right so <laughs> it's off and then like if we want to add air we can add air we need to take away some air we can take away so watch what i do so watch the different types of vocals we can record in and print in as if we were recording through analog this can save you a lot of time when it comes to mixing because let's say you're recording yourself and you know that you want to cut some low end out your vocals anyway and you're going to be okay with that you got to keep in mind the videos that I make, the way that I record, is for the people that's sure about what they want to do. Because me personally, I like to do 80% of everything in my recording process, right? The 80-20 rule, that's how I look at it. 80% of the songs should be done in the tracking process. So that's why, like, if I had analog gear, I wouldn't use none of these damn plugins for the most part because I would already have... The compression levels set the way that I would probably want it. If I want to tweak it, I'll just be going in just to make minor adjustments. All your professional pro engineer, pro mixers do this. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you how you can record like just different vocals, right? So we can do this. We can cut this. Let's do like telephone, right? Let's do some telephone vocals. Can we do some telephone vocals? Yeah, can we do some telephone vocals? Yeah, can we do some telephone vocals? Yeah, this shit crazy. This shit crazy. Telephone vocals. Can we do some telephone vocals? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, 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 Baby, 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 baby. Hey, hey, telephone vocals, telephone vocals, telephone vocals. Oh. You can do whatever you want to do when you recording with these plugins. <laughs> like, I can get really creative. <laughs> so like watch this so bring it down watch this ain't no plugins over here ain't no need no nothing there right so what's it yeah 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 baby 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 hey hey telephone vocals telephone vocals Telephone for oh, oh. You can do whatever you want to do when you recording with these plugins. Like, and somebody, uh, somebody, uh, somebody, like, it'll probably be a comment in the comment section. But why would you want to print? Why would you want to print? Why would you want to do that? I'm not sure if you really want to do that. <laughs> Bruh, listen, it's okay. It's okay, bro. You can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to print. Like, I'm printing because I want to print. I could also drag it down here and just monitor with it. And if I like it, I can say the preset, bring it down, and have that same effect on that track if I want to. You know, a lot of people need to get out the mindset of thinking your way of thinking is the only way of doing something, right? It's more than one way to get zero, more than one way to get two, more than one way to get ten, more than one way to get a hundred more than one way to become a millionaire more than one way to get a record deal there's a lot of different ways i hear to mix music record music master music it's not just one way uh, and another thing that you need to understand about the needs so we got phase we can turn in phase turn it off see how that does that right there we got the power on, off. right so on, off as if you was working with the analog we can cut there we can boost there we got the fader here again we can turn the pad Right, and see now we can really turn that up some more. If we put on zero, right? We can do mic low, high. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much how you use the knee 1073. It's up to you. You can really drive this mic pre as much as you want until it like distorts. But you also want to make sure your interface is prepared, right? So the higher you turn up the mic pre, the lower the input needs to be on your Apollo Twin or your interface. And line is only gonna be for like instruments, right? But pretty much, you got mic pre, 
you got different EQ ranges. So this is your high shells, and then this is your mids. This is your lows, and this is your low cut. And you activate the EQ by hitting EQ, and it's off when it's turned off. But it's just that simple. So if you want to record pro vocals like your favorite artists, start using the mic pre. All right, that's gonna boost your signal. That's gonna help you get a better performance. That's gonna help you stay consistent with your performance. Because if you're too loud. It's going to sound crazy and you're going to want to have to do that again. So that's going to help you, right? A mic pre, that's part of the industry standard vocal chain. No matter what you use, the Manly got a pre, the API got a mic pre, the Avalon got a mic pre. Mic preamps are very important and the Need 1073 is very iconic. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the channel. It's your boy Scott Jordan. My dad, right? cool. <laughs>